All right, all right, all right. This is Matt. And Jake. With Sabbath Lounge. And uh, we've been talking with to Joy Brock. Right. And Hello, then, Joy. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we uh, realized that... And then, uh, by the way, if, you, if you're if you joining this, there's a part one. So oh, this yeah, will be part two. Yeah. So check out the first part. Or otherwise, you're going to be like, who, what? What's happening? <laughs> right. So go ahead, Jake. But yeah, we realized, hey, uh, we got done talking. We're trying to... Uh, you know, load up the, save the recording and everything. And we got to talking and we're like, oh, we should record this because this is an interesting discussion. <laughs> so we brought you along for the ride. So we just had asked Joy about uh, her church and, uh, you know, it sounded like a, a pretty interesting place. And so Joy, if you'll just kind of pick up where you, you described the leadership and, mm -hmm. and kind of the DNA kind of of, of your fellowship. Sure. Um, so the assembly, they like, like I had mentioned before, they have been there like over a hundred years. Um, uh, many of the elders are like 80, 90 years old. Uh, a typical Sabbath is they do a uh, Torah class at 10 AM and then at 11 AM, everybody moves to the sanctuary and they blow the shofars to call a call for worship. And then everybody goes in there and they do uh, prayer requests and then every uh, whoever has a psalm to share a lot of people get up and share psalms and that is such a that's really cool as well and then uh we sing we sing some songs out of a song book that a lot of the songs were written um by uh one one lady that's still there and then another lady who has passed on and they're they're really amazing songs um just uh really anointed songs and, and when we first came there we obviously we didn't we didn't know so we're you know doing the watermelon watermelon thing like <laughs> because they yeah. didn't know the words. um but we've gotten to know some of them and they are a really big blessing and so after the singing um and then pastor will get up and he'll he'll talk and and then after that um we'll sing a couple more songs and then a really special part at the end is a gentleman who is 90. He is, he was a trained singer in Italy. He gets up and he sings the ironic blessing. And oh, wow. I do in, in Hebrew. Oh, and wow. I do have it on a video on my page and I just tried looking for it the other day and I can't find it. Oh man. Um, but I actually got a recording of it. The first time I tried the recording did not come out very well. So I was like, Oh, so the very next Sabbath, I made sure to get it, and I I absolutely love it. Oh, you can hear a little bit of it on my YouTube channel when I did a video for Tabernacles. He's singing at the very beginning of the video. So he usually gets up every Sabbath and sings it. And then That's we, awesome. It is. It's wonderful. And then we break, and then we go have fellowship, and we go and we eat. And um, it uh, throughout the day, people come and go all day. It's like an all-day thing. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, that's yeah. the that that song book. That's pretty interesting. So, um, you know, I grew up, um, I grew up with. I was a youth minister too, and mm -hmm. you know, we had like the youth song book. And you know, what was pretty interesting about that youth song book? It mostly was scripture. And yeah. you know, I can remember some of the elders at our. It, it, I was a grew up in Church of Christ, and sometimes I'd be like, I don't know what this young these young people songs are. And I'm like, <laughs> most of these are scripture, like as the deer pants for water. You know, it's uh, Psalms. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would kind of I would be interested to see the songs. I think that that's something that was kind of lacking in the Torah community. And, you know, I don't know if you're familiar, but there are, um, there are a few bands that I like called one of them is good medicine. And the other one is left and right ministries. Okay. And, um, you know, they, they are producing original content of music that is things that I, I would listen to and like that's upbeat, maybe kind of contemporary, but kind of folksy, but kind of more like the, uh, worship music that I I listened to when I was in in the church world, but they're using the right names. Okay, and uh, so uh, I think there is a uh, you know some need for this. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see the the songbook and and see how that works. <laughs> I I can't show you the songbook. It's funny we're talking about this because last Sabbath 
it's in a big white binder and pastor brought it up and he's holding wow. it and he goes he goes this book we have been asked several times to copyright this music and we are not doing it. Like people want this yeah. and they can't yeah. have it. <laughs> well, you know, something you might bring up to them is that, you know, there is a Deborah publishing, which Sarah Williams runs that. And she okay. is, she wants to publish Torah people. And uh, she might be interested in publishing something <laughs> like that. Um, I don't so, know. <laughs> so, yeah. So it could be something that, um, that they could give away if they, you know, you know, if you met the publishing cost or ask people just to cover the, the, the cost of publishing or something. So, uh, okay. you know, it'd be interesting, you know, um, you know, things like that. I think that's awesome that they don't, you know, that they want to give it away because yeah. it, it, it should be that way. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. If it comes up, I'll definitely uh, bring it up and we can talk about it. Yeah. yeah. But he's very protective of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He should be. Yeah. Yeah. It took a long time, a lot of blood, sweat and tears. When yeah. It's, that, so. it, it's like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Well, that that sounds like a, a great fellowship. It's interesting too to to uh, to be around. We don't have we have some people, you know, maybe that are touching eighty, but uh, mm -hmm. but we don't have we have like one, and yeah. uh, you know we don't have very many people uh, in this movement that we've encountered that that yeah. are elderly. So yeah. Yes, that, that's that, important. We're um, it's actually kind of a you know a worry. Well, not I shouldn't say a worry because this is Yaz Assembly, but like we're like, what's going to happen? You know, <laughs> down the road because right. a great majority of them are much older, and yeah. we're you know, it's a, they're a treasure, really. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I think it's uh, interesting that you have this whole group of of older people that are like grew up in it. And uh, yeah, I think that's a testament to, uh, I think is. a lot of us think, oh, this is like brand new stuff that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's they like were... really old. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, no, our, there had uh... to be this remnant this whole time. Yeah. yeah so there's always like... been someone who's known, you know. Right. And, like and our pastor and his, his family, like they were doing Day of Atonement as like toddlers. <laughs> Oh, like wow. fasting like they she was they're like we've done this like literally our whole life and i'm thinking how <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. and so, did you did you say that church your your fellowship has a website it, i believe it is assembly of yahweh.com but i could be wrong on that i'm sure if you googled it assembly of yahweh and eat rapids it's going to come up okay i and, knew there was a rapids in there I didn't write down the rapids. Part. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, um, that 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 was it. I think we just want to kind of to capture um, how you did church. I thought that was kind of interesting, and also just real interesting to know. You know, I'd be interested. Leave it in the comments if you are part of a fellowship that has an eldership, especially an eldership uh, comp comprised of people in their eighties and nineties. I yeah. think that's very very unique. Yeah. Um, and I don't know that there's, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I, I haven't heard of many that yeah. have something like that. Yeah. So. We have a gentleman who's like 90. He, he still works a job. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's really amazing. That's impressive. That's yeah. Impressive. That's, that's what, that's what we all want. We want to yes, be absolutely. able to do that at 90. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes. He's probably working at the feed store. Hauling <laughs> the sacks sacks on no, the sacks. no, yeah. no, no. He, yeah, well, no, he's, a, he's an inspector. He inspects properties. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he drives around and whatnot. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. All right. Well, I think that was it. We just wanted to kind of capture that while we were waiting for something to upload. So yep. I guess now okay. we got to wait on this upload too. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, we encourage you to check out Joy Brock and uh, check out part one if you missed that. Part one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just uh, check out her social media. Share this with someone that you think might find it beneficial. And uh, contact her if you're in the Michigan area and are looking for a fellowship. It sounds like that would be a good place good place to go if you if you need Sukkot plans yeah. mm -hmm. you know, it would be a good place to contact so um, yes. and I'm sure they would have a few questions they probably do have a screening process uh, to make sure you're not not crazy um, <laughs> I really um, don't know <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're yeah. there so they yeah. let me in right, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, 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 Joy we appreciate your your time this evening and we look forward to watching you and uh, seeing other things that that you do there and 
Uh, we just thank you for your time. And this is Matt and Jake signing out. Thanks for having me.